Hello everyone and welcome back. Meet Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today. So, how are all of you dungeon fallers doing? I'm doing very well. So I've done a lot of grinding in this game since my last video where I believe I hit stage 308. As you can see by the emblem, the shield, the name tag. My max stage is 440. I'm up on the tower keeping watch with who I believe to be the man himself, Fable, RBX. But with a bow in hand instead of the two uh, short swords, da daggers, rapiers, whatever they were. Keep them post up here. And because I've been playing so much, I also landed a couple sparks finally. So, oh my goodness, am I excited about that. So I'll show you all that stuff in a minute, but I want to jump right to the leaderboard here. Check it out. Look at that beautiful mug up there. I am currently bronze in third place, meat department, DF, my highest stage 440, and that's actually where we are right here at 440. I can't seem to get past that. The boss is a pretty beast, but we're going to give it a shot today and see maybe if we can kite him around the room for a little while and get up one more stage. So, whew, it's been exciting getting up the ranks here. I love seeing the, the avatar up on the leaderboard. So there I am. Don't know how long I'll stay there, but it's a good time. Just to get on the stage leaderboard, you need 352 stages. So, wow. As far as boss score goes, I'm sitting at, where am I? I'm not on the top 10, I'm at 3188. So I got a lot more bosses to kill. These people up on the top, holy crap, if they've been grinding to get that boss score. Holy, that's a lot of grinding. I got some pets down in the incubators. I think they'll be done... Um, in about I don't know a few minutes so let's go over to my dungeon and give this a shot um, and what I want to show you are my pets so here's a spark his quality 68.28 the other one 72.48 so not too bad some of them are really high some are really low on both of them as far as the stats go like this one's health is like really low but it's uh, balanced out because the health on this one's really high and so forth with the skill it also balances so basically across the board everything is just really good i'd say about 70 quality each of them um it's really good so i was so happy to get those i've hatched 283 eggs finally got my first one i think at 89 or 90 um and then i started getting more and more along the way and i have a bunch of stuff right here uh, the first few legendary pets i got were fen the wolf I just upgraded <laughs> okay I didn't know you could upgrade pets like that interesting so I got five fen and look at all the shinies shinies that is oof, a lot of shinies and you know you know some of these might actually be competitive with the spark it's just well I guess the overall quality is not anymore um, but yeah so I confirmed in Discord um, with one of the moderators, Shinies have a 1% drop chance. So basically it's the same as Spark. Spark has a 1% drop, drop chance. So a Shiny has a 1% drop chance as well. And um, I then further confirmed that really it just kind of randomizes what the pet's going to be. There apparently isn't another like um, roll or random roll on it to determine the rarity of the pet. Meaning, is it going to be a legendary or not? So, with that said, then I've gotten 10 shinies, and none of them have been higher than this flower guy. Um, so, I didn't get any legendary shinies. So, we'll see. Maybe down the road. So, I've gotten a lot, if you actually look at the bags then. I got 17 legendaries or shinies out of 283x hatch. That seems pretty good. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you can see the time played is nearly 12 days of playtime and probably about 95 percent of that is actually actively being near at least the computer while i'm grinding down the floors because this game you can't really afk for too long there's really not much point to doing it unless maybe you wanted to overnight just get gold um that's not something i've done anytime recently i did way back in the beta one night i left it on kicking um that was the only night i leave the overnight into giant simulator um but yeah so i've been playing basically 12 hours my furthest up 440 
here's all the boss points i attached 296 rebirths um here's all the player stats so you can see got a lot invested and i'm still working on it i think um, i'm gonna have to go for the relic gain at some point here again to really progress further because i'm kind of on pins and needles as i'm going through this stage here so i want to show you this is crazy the boss is is going to one shot me um there's not really much i can do to withstand the damage from the boss <laughs> he just splattered me so it definitely got to the point where i just don't have enough uh i haven't had enough for a few levels now to actually go head to head with the boss so what i have to do is basically kite the boss around with my sparks um really doing most of the work and kicking the butt so as you see the perks up top i have 133 percent pet damage so i put on pet damage stuff max health doesn't really matter because i'm gonna get one shot anyway so none of these stats really matter i'm not sure if critical hit chance is applied to the pets again there's just not enough information about the game right now to know um but the pet damage is boosted so i'm pretty much gonna have to summon the boss and come on down here and pretty much not let him touch me <laughs> i'm not he cannot touch me because he one shots me so i have to ru run around oh my goodness i just got stuck on a on a column can't see top view so i pretty much have to run around like this for a few minutes here and let my my sparks really do the, the the butt whooping so let's do that let's just run around in some circles you, you, you get dizzy and I tell you if you get distracted one time this guy's gonna be on you he's gonna flatten you out like a pancake like a pancake and it's happened a couple times uh, but for the most part you just kind of kite him around you let the pets do the dirty work and you kite him around and that's because I cannot even get a spell off on him because he's gonna just one shot me to death so I've pretty much reached my threshold of where I should be rebirthing. Um, and actually I'd probably normally just be grinding several levels, be like probably 20, 15, 20 levels below this. Um, because once I get past 425 into the 426 range, uh, it starts to get really rough and starts taking a long time to get each stage because I'm just not strong enough. I need more skills. Even though I got massive skills, I need more skills to compete in that range. So the amount of play time I've spent from 425 to where I am now 440 is a lot. Uh, a couple, two, three hours, probably. Two uh, hours, prob probably about two hours of actual in-game active time playing just from those 25 level or 15 levels. And if I was to just grind up to like a certain stage where it's easy, 224, let's say, or 220, you know, each one of those grinds takes 20, 25 minutes, maybe. I haven't really timed it, but I feel like it's about that, 25 minutes or so. Um, yeah, it's a lot more grinding. But so this is it. He's almost down to half. I mean, those sparks are, are really kicking butt. I'm so glad I got those. Like I said, I put the pet damage gear on. Because I can't touch the boss anyways so I save the pet damage gear put it on and we'll get 441 if I don't mess up here um, and then I'm gonna stop there I'm, I'm not gonna try to go any further because honestly killing the trash the trash mobs up to this boss my goodness that takes a lot of time too these guys got some beefy HP um, like I'm, I'm talking like each mob has like 200 AC uh, of health so when you get to the one with three and there's 600 AC of health and they also one shot you too because there's three of them hitting you at once. So you really got to play that one careful. Um, it took a while. It's been a while to get here, but I wanted to push it. I wanted to grind it. It's been on my mind for quite a long time to just grind. Just take some time and grind. Um, like grind the actual high level and not uh, just grind soul gems or relics is what they're called in this game. The hearts so yeah so we're, we're gonna do it we're already ranked three we're gonna get one level higher than that at 441 then we're gonna call it quits and do the old-fashioned rebirth go check on the pets and maybe you're all gonna be good luck and get me that shiny spark which i think he's blue i think the shiny spark might be blue so that's kind of cool like a blue flame you know 
a blue dinosaur really cool so here we are as long as i don't run into a column by accident or my mouse doesn't die or my keyboard <laughs> i should be good could could you imagine if we got this low and my keyboard died or my mouse and and i just froze and got one shot like right here that would suck but we did it so we successfully kited the boss dismiss we did it we did it good job spark and spark you guys are beast beast mode so there's that um i'm gonna get 58.49 billion relics and a 77.5 stage bonus Oof, that is a lot a lot so let's get out of here because i'm done with that oh my goodness that's crazy let's see it hasn't updated yet but it will just in a few minutes here it'll be 441 that is i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot very cool ah, oh there it is the update 441 so we're zooming in on those two um doing good that's what i'm talking about let's go down and check those pets up before we do the rebirth um are they they are available beautiful all right so as you see sparks got one percent chance fen the other legendary too this is a mushroom not a shiny mushroom I, I like how the chat shows um, when you get a legendary or a shiny. It's pretty cool. I actually got back-to-backs, I believe, uh, the other night. I, I don't have enough rooms, some runes because I haven't been farming the the, uh, the floors. Oh. I, I've been sitting around farming. Well, I have been farming like 15 floors for two hours. That's why. All right. Uh, but anyways, like, like I was saying, if you get legendary, it prints it in the chat. And I have a screenshot try to remember the place up where it shows mine back to back getting sparks or fens or something i can't remember who it was and just like prior to that a couple hours earlier i was in the same lobby and i got a legendary so i was really lucky with the legendaries that day but hey sometimes you're lucky sometimes you're not i wasn't lucky for the longest time that i started getting them mixed in um that's just the way it is so yeah let's go ahead and do the old-fashioned rebirth where is it here it is here it is Click the button, get the hearts. Thank you very much. Is this Tony? It's like a chainmail beard. For some reason, I think that that is. I like it. And who's this? Hmm. So looking at the the skills here, this is where I'm at. Level eight on the uh, the epic ones, whatever these are called and almost 100 on everything else skill damage is i'm lacking a little behind in um i haven't really done any critical strike skill builds in a while so i have actually taken it easy on that i'm kind of just pushing my melee damage my health definitely the health because you get splattered um and pet damage is actually pretty good too but gold because gold you kind of get capped too at a certain point we just can't upgrade or get higher level gear which ultimately makes you stronger as well uh so really it just gets to a point where you gotta get as much skills as you can grind out and then to the point where you just gotta go for the big boy relic gain uh because that multiplier that gives you is, is gonna bring it back on par to progress to the next 25 stages or so um so yeah it's a lot of grinding in this game it is definitely a lot of active grinding in this game um but that's cool so it's like part simulator but also part not simulator i guess um so it's like a dungeon simulator but not a full-on for either because you're not really going through a dungeon killing mobs to get loot and stuff like that definitely a different way it works obviously and the simulator you're not really there to spend hours swinging away at stuff um because it's not really as effective if you do because you do have to rebirth more often this game promotes the rebirthing and that's why we have 297 now after today so yeah that's it i just wanted to give you an update let you know that i have been playing this pretty hard um 
in the last couple weeks and just getting back into it. Um, I was really hard in, in the beta. I played for a long time. I probably plopped about six or seven of my hours played just in the beta. So when the game was first released um, without pets, it was it was rough. Um, and then I took some time off uh, because the grind just got too crazy. And I know there'll be some updates with the game that make it a lot more user friendly, I'm sure. And it did. So pets came out and definitely boosted you up. But we're starting to hit that wall again where it starts to become a little bit too challenging and repetitive and not that a challenge is a bad thing right we love a challenge because we can set goals um but it gets to a point where all right you get a high level and then like to get to that next stage that next set of stages to clear requires so much grinding that i think it's i think it's uh it's offsetting off-putting to a lot of players not off-putting but um that's the bad choice of word it's just not uh motivating enough there's not enough reward for you to go that much of an extra mile to get up to the next level of stages um so yeah i feel like it gets longer and longer um so the overkill that they introduced was awesome because that helped speed things up and that was a problem that we realized in the beta for sure and i remember i said a couple things about it in my videos um where it felt like it was like the reverse of rebirthing and getting stronger is that now it took you just as long to get back to where you were just for little tiny minuscule progress possibly you have to keep doing that rinse and repeat and it just took too long um and kind of deterred people from wanting to do it so the overkill lets you get there faster and that's awesome um i could see that still becoming daunting when you start to get into the high hundreds and even thousands inevitably down the road you'll be spending so much time just getting back to where you were again you're gonna have to think of something else uh for stage skips i think um, but what I'm trying to say is now for me to progress basically where I could comfortably get up to 450 because right now I got to rank three and it did take a lot of effort uh, to get that high. I should uh, I was at like 126 or seven. I think I was rank eight. I think I was just eight. I was 120, 426 or seven. I can't remember. And I shot up here uh, by playing hard for a couple hours and creatively with the pets. Um, but yeah hey look at this person nest kids nes nintendo entertainment system um but, but what i'm saying is it was not that bad for me to get the relic upgrades before and then get the next tier it was a lot of relics but it was still doable and took a lot of hours to do but i know this next one to get five trillion relics even with my bonus is going to take a long time so i can get like comfortably and efficiently 45 47 whatever it is billion relics a run so if i could do two of those an hour it's let's just say 90 billion an hour and i need five trillion so it's gonna take me 12 hours to get a trillion and i need to do that five times 60 hours of gameplay to get the next relic upgrade 60 hours is two and a half days of playtime so that's two and a half days of playtime coming back every half an hour resetting um and letting it rip again and that's you know without the collision of you getting knocked across the dungeon when the boss dies and being in the corner taking even longer for them to walk up to you so you could hit them um so yeah now you can understand why the playtime is almost 12 days from grinding all those relics and stuff um so yeah i think it's just uh some things maybe development team can think about to ways to speed the game up and make it more interactive and quick but not so quick where it's easy because eventually you're going to have to actually grind stuff um that's the whole point of it and that's a good thing but i feel like as you get higher it actually gets harder and takes longer to move on which isn't necessarily a bad thing because that does again separate people the types of players the power players versus the novice and beginner um it does cause or will allow that separation so yeah that's it just wanted to give some thoughts on the game and where it currently stands i mean i'm enjoying it a lot i just dumped a lot of hours into it i'm probably gonna be playing it a little bit more but i'm expecting hopefully an update to come sooner than later um and we'll see what it is uh it's a fun game to play i love being able to use your actual avatar and i love these two little sparks to be quite honest with you i'm so happy i got them um, they're really cool.
I really love these sparks. I was running around with two fens. Now I got two sparks. And it's a good day. I'll sit down next to that meat. The meat. Oh, yeah. Where's my butler? Is that my butler? So let's go ahead and give a quick shout out before we end the video. There's, wow, not many in the server anymore. We have Darthboy555, FishyM0. We have User, Unicorn, Nevi, and Wed, RTR, GG. Shout out to you. And shout out to all of you out there. If you stuck with me this long, I do appreciate it. Maybe you're a fan of the channel. And if you're not, think about becoming one. We post tons of videos, all kinds of Roblox games, mainly Giant Simulator, a good amount of Dungeon Fall, and other games to come. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and smash that bell for notifications. You are made aware when I drop new content on the channel, but in good fashion. Like always, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.